Schema app also works with Google Tag Manager. In order to set up Google Tag Manager, open Tag Manager and go to add a new tag. Title the tag appropriately. In this case, we'll call it Schema App. And then go ahead and add the first tag. You're going to want to select Custom HTML and then go to our instructions and copy the script into the window. You're going to then go ahead and paste it in, select Support Document Write, and click on Save. Uh, it goes ahead and asks you no trigger selected. Go ahead and add a trigger. And you're going to select all pages. Go ahead and click save and you're done. In the instructions that we send you, it'll include your individual API key as well as the account ID. If you're using this on a sub account, your account ID will be the, the ending of the sub account. So for example, Martha's dare forward slash client. Let me show you what that looks like in schema app. So if you go under sub accounts, you'll see that if I select Van Burkle elevators, the new account ID is going to be Martha Stair forward slash Van Burkle elevators. And so if you're using Google Tag Managers for Van Burkle elevators, you will go ahead and make sure that that's included in the code under account ID. Now, when you go ahead and create data items, if you enter the URI, let me show you what that looks like again. For the page, it'll go ahead and deploy automatically with Google Tag Manager. The URI can be found when you first create the instance here, and it's usually the URL of the page. So here I'm gonna just go ahead and type in the Martha Corporation. And this is what Google Tag Manager will use to identify what JSONL decode is to go on the page based on what I specify here. Now, if you've gone ahead and already added the data item, you can edit the URI by clicking on Actions and Change URI.